Hello, welcome to part five of the Happy Landlord series. Hopefully you've been watching in order and you've seen parts one to four. If you haven't, this is, there's a playlist, you can go back and uh, look through those. Uh, if you just some, stumble across this on YouTube, and go, what the heck's this? Then there's a playlist, there's a, there's a channel, you can go look at uh, all those. Perhaps subscribe. You know, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you subscribe, then uh, you'll get subsequent videos in the series through to you and you can go back and watch those other ones as well. So just to put all that in context, if you're thinking, who the hell is this guy on YouTube? I'm a landlord. Uh, I've been around long enough to uh, to know that, um, yeah. What I've got this idea. What what doing things right for as as far as a landlord is, and for me, I want more income. Uh, I want more time, and I want less hassle. And we've got a, a system and a process. Uh, how we're going to do that? I call it the Happy Landlord System, and that's what we've talked about in the rest of this mini series. So perhaps go back, check it out. But what we're talking about today is. Um, Probably either one or two, either the first or the second um, most important thing, depending on how you view things as a landlord. Um, yeah, if you ask a landlord what is it that they are most concerned about, you know, whether they are um, been a landlord for 20 years and they've got 500 houses or they're just starting out and they're, they're worried. The two things are, I want to make sure I get my money and I want to make sure my house is looked after, those two things. What we're talking about today is um, getting the house looked after, or making sure the house is, is looked after. Uh, I own a letting agency, this is how we do it. Um, if you want to take all these ideas and write them down and implement them yourself and do them yourself and be a happy landlord, feel free, off you go. If you want to engage the services of a really good letting agency, go to the description in the, uh, the video and um, get in touch. Right, so second only, I think, to getting paid, and there's a reason we, we, we left getting paid till last, and I'll explain that in that, that next video coming. Um, I think that uh, the, 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 the other priority there, the second priority, uh, is, is making sure the house is looked after. Over the years, we've developed a process that ensures that the properties are kept in the right condition, uh, but most importantly, without taking loads and loads of our landlord's time up. It's got to be packaged in such a way that it's, that it's easy, you know. Um, I've got to say that I, I, I believe, um, I, I know, uh, maintenance is probably the hardest um, piece of um, the, 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 the puzzle for, for a landlord to let go of. It's the hardest thing for them to delegate. That's probably the best way to put it. Um, I see lots of self-managing landlords. This is the last thing they, they um, are able to let go of. And I do understand this was, this was the piece when I was building for the landlords.com as a business. Um, this was the last thing. This was the thing that took up the most amount of my time to get right. Um, it's the thing that still um, causes the most amount of work in the business. You know, it's something we have to constantly work at. And if we have to constantly work at it, um, with the team of you know, 15 people or so in the background doing that work, um, yeah, then you know, it's something that, that it can be overwhelming if you don't get it right. So we're talking about the, the, the looking after the property and whether that's, um, well, I'll, I'll run through the process. We it's more than just maintenance, okay? So um, property management focus, it starts for us with a photographic inventory right at the beginning. Um, have you ever heard of a landlord or heard a landlord complaining that the deposit process is stacked in the favour of a tenant? You know, I never get my deposit back. If they complain, they're just getting the money back. Um, load of rubbish. If you do it right, uh, you should get every penny that you do. Um, this is how you do it right. The starting point is a photographic inventory. It has to be photographic. The ones that we produce are um, hundreds of pages long. In fact, actually, we can't email them. We have to send a link. They're that big, you know. Uh, they're very detailed and they take hours to do. Um, I can't believe sometimes when I see letting agencies say that they're optional, you know. A good photographic inventory is never optional. It is essential. You must have it. If you don't have it, you haven't got a leg to stand on and the tenant will get all the deposit back even if they trash the place. So, photographic inventory. Um, next thing, next, next sort of item in the toolkit there, is the inspections and again photographic and regular and we've actually got quite a neat thing that uh, it was introduced mid-covid and uh, it stayed afterwards because it's such a, a neat tool we've got a way of doing an inventory via a, a um uh, a tenant smartphone you dial in they show you around uh, when it works it works brilliantly uh, you know, good quality, a willing tenant showing you the areas, zooming in on all those kind of things. And that enables us to do it more often than uh, most letting agencies. Uh, of course, when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And you've still got to go and visit it and, 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 do, and do the normal uh, old fashioned inventory, but make it uh, inspection. So make sure you do the inspections. Um, so 
The next thing, and well, the next thing is a checkout, but if you think of, uh, you can see why they're, they're essential, um, inventory, inspections, checkout, two bookends, and there can be as many inspections as depends how long that tenant stays, but you can see how they work all together, yeah? Um, again, the inventory's got to be photographic, um, uh, it's got to be um, done at the right time, quickly, it's got to be done thoroughly, and then all the right forms got to be filled in if, if you're going to claim some deposit or not. Now, um, really, really a couple of other things that we do as well, managing this situation, give the tenant good notice, I mean, it could be if you're managing this yourself, it could just be a phone call, letting the tenant know what the expectation is before they move out. We've got a, ha a how to uh, leave your house ready guide. I think it's snappily titled, well, we've got, we've got a snappier title than that, but you know, how to, how to leave the house tidy guide to a tenant that's leaving next week. Give them that up front, give them a chance to prepare, doesn't it? Uh, and then uh, other tip, never do that to check out with the tenant there. They've got to leave, give you the keys, and this is why it's going to be done quickly. You can't leave it so long. That tenant's going to want their deposit back. They might be rabbiting in your ear, but you've got to have the time to go around the property yourself or whoever's going to be doing that for you. We've got a team doing it, of course. Um, make a really good job of that checkout because you might come to re re rely on it three or four months from now if there's any dispute, but by that time there'll be a new tenant and all the evidence will have gone, won't it? So, um, that is, well, that's, that's, that is, that's the proactive system, if you like. That's the bit that, you know, two bookends and the, and the inspections in the middle. So what about the reactive system? We're talking about how we're looking after the property. We're talking about, um, you know, maintenance, really, you know, things that, that go wrong. Um, yeah, and they do go wrong. Uh, first, first, first thing in, in talking about reducing the hassle, um, most landlords, yeah, I don't, 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 don't realise this, but it's a legal obligation um, in law. The word is immediately. And immediate is, you know, if it's, if it's three o'clock on a, on a Saturday morning, it's three o'clock on a Saturday morning. A tenant's got to be available immediately, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We've got, we've got a tenant hotline, we've got an app, so that's done. But, you know, if you're talking about reducing hassle, there's pretty much the only way to get rid of that one is to use a letting agency. Um, it can be a serious time drain and hassle if you get this bit wrong, the maintenance bit. Um, maintenance is tricky, you know, as I said earlier on, it's um, yeah, building, dealing with builders, you're dealing with uncertain situations, uh, you might not be an expert in them. Definitely when I was setting up land, for the landlords.com, getting maintenance right was, uh, was the most challenging job. Um, it's a constant pressure, like I said. If you don't keep that pressure up, you will end up with things running late, poor quality, and probably paying too much money, any combination of those things. It's the classic trio, you're managing time, cost, and quality. That, that, that's it. Um, it's a blend of all three of those things. Um, probably the, uh, the, the one of the biggest lessons I, I, I learned throughout that process is quite often there's more than one right. You know, you can get two different contractors with a slightly different opinion. Um, it might be that and I'll talk about our scaling now. Um, the trying to unpick a fifty-pound problem, let's say, um, you've got a leaking tap in front of you. It's is it a forty-pound leaking tap or is it a sixty-pound leaking tap? Um, trying to unpick that is probably not worth your time. In all honesty, um, making sure it's done right, get the get the uh, the photographs done right, and that, there we go. That's a reasonable job. Is, uh, is is probably the best you can hope for, and you'll be right ninety-five percent of the time. Um, you can't do that with a £500 fix. You've got to be much more involved. Um, yeah, faced with a £50 fix, you might you might sort of have, a, have that conversation with the the, um, uh, the building. Like they're saying it's, 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 it's £80, you chip them down, all this. That, that can happen for sure, but don't spend too much time on it because realistically, you know, time's money and uh, your tenant just needs it fixing and that will suck a lot of your time away. But like I say, you can't do it with a £500 fix, so you need a scale, and our scale, our break points in our business are these. It's £75, £250, £500, and over £1,000. And we've got a slightly different way of dealing with each one of those, and it ramps up in terms of how much effort we're gonna put into it, how much checking we're going to do. Um, when any contractor goes out, they're tasked to um, deliver a first-time fix, because that's the best thing for everybody, for the landlord, for us as a letting agency and for the tenant. Yeah, it's done and dusted. And that's the 75 pounds. Yeah, if it can all just be done, then let's just get it done. Take some pictures. Um, we've got a, a, a 
sort of a, a phrase in the um, in the in our business: show the customers the brake pads. And I kind of put it in there. I don't know. I don't think this happens anymore. But I remember taking about a long time ago taking cars to the garage and um, you know. I got the brake pads changed and the brake pads were in a bag on or in, in the, the old brake pads were in the box on the passenger seat i think why the hell does he give me these it's like oh, i don't want your junk i'm just putting chuck in the bin it's a courtesy thing they're showing you that they've done the right job the brake pads really had worn out i didn't just change them to make some money so show the customer the brake pads before and after photographs it's the right job you know, we're just saying we're just getting all jobs up to up to seventy five quid done. You know, it's not more quite more than that. It did need doing forty eight pounds or seventy two pound fifty or whatever it was was the right price, and we're, we're more or less happy with that. And we're right on ninety five high ninety percent on those kind of cases. If it's over to over seventy five and up to two hundred fifty pounds, similar process, but we want more pictures. We're going to value for money test it, and we're going to give the contractor. Um, a value for money test, that's the way we, we phrase it. I was going to say give them a hard time. We don't give them a hard time. You can't be giving contractors a hard time, they won't work for you again. So, yeah, we, we test it. Up to £500, same process, but we're going to involve the landlord and ask their opinion. And at this point, we might call off and ask for three quotes. We might genuinely do that, or we might threaten to do that. Slightly different thing, but has the same result, doesn't it? Uh, and over a thousand pounds, we would almost always pull off site, take pictures, write a report, create a schedule of works, and uh, and go from there. And yeah, I think that's quite important as well. Sometimes when you don't, you know, if a boiler definitely broken and the replacement is definitely fifteen hundred quid, and we've got a rate card and it looks right, then yeah, we don't need to do anything more than that because uh, it's a it's a it's a pretty much a uh, um, it's over a thousand pounds, but it's a benchmark job, you know. So um, it's exactly the same um, when we come to checking you know, that, that process. Um, £75 job only needs a picture. Uh, as long as the tenant says they're happy and we can see it's, it's, that's okay, isn't it? Um, for a £1,000 job, we're probably going to go on and see that. Uh, you know, actually get our own eyes on it as, as a business and look at the thing and make sure it did get done right. It's probably got a snagging list on it, hasn't it? It's something with that many job, but do take that amount of time. Of course, the boiler, we wouldn't go and check because got a gas safety certificate, a CP12, warranty card, benchmark card, all those things are in there. So that is the check, the qualified engineer. I don't know if I went if I went to check a boiler, all I can really say is yeah it's on the wall, you know that's it. Picture can do that. Whereas I'm not you know, all the all the mini bar readings and stuff there, right? That's down to the engineer, isn't it? So um, there's one thing that can throw a span into the work to all of that, of course, and it's the timing. You know, if your house is burning down or flooding, um, there's an emergency situation and we've just got to get there. Um, Equally, there's some good savings to be made in not treating everything urgent. You know, as a letting agency, we, we got good at, you know, that room can be repainted any time in the next 28 days. So it's on a schedule to get done at any point in the, long, the next 28 days. As long as it gets done, you can get quite a you know, decent price. You've got that kind of builder will just keep you working all the time in the minor maintenance, not urgent, just go and painting rooms or fixing that or that, the little niggly stuff. Don't treat everything as urgent, yeah, you can save some money that way as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's the end. That, that that's 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 second bit of the um, of the of the management focuses. Um, it's uh, yeah, fourth, fourth in the um, fifth in the series, but uh, that's the, the the second of the management focuses. Once the tenants in, uh, looking after the property. Hopefully that was useful. If you think your own portfolio would benefit from that kind of management, like I say, click on the description in the video book on a discovery call and uh, I might see you then soon. Stay tuned for the next video, the uh, six in the series, and we're gonna be talking about landlord's favorite subject, money. <laughs>